Yeah, so the other night, right, I just finished work and I realised I should probably turn that off. <laughs> One time in Newman, I was just I just finished work, right? And I was walking at the rec centre parking lot, just walking through it. And I turned my head because I heard a sound, and I just saw this <laughs> this old ass looking Land Cruiser just driving down one of the roads, and I can't quite remember what was wrong with it, like. I think it must have been the back of the car fallen, fallen over or something, but that thing was producing enough sparks to spawn Satan. Like, that thing, it was just dragging on the ground, going... Duh, 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 duh. It's a little more realistic than that. I was just about to open my car. Uh, I was looking at that. Now look, look to my other side. I see another dude. He's also looking at it. And he looks at me and he's like, another day in Newman, right? Open my car. Get in. I still watch it for another minute. The guy's like in the hundred seats. Get out of the car. Have a look. Then they just get back in the car and just drive away. Look, one time I did drive my car from the airport to Newman with a flat tire because I put the spare on because the tire was flat. Turns out the spare was also flat. So I can understand that. But dude, that th you couldn't like, I don't know, lift up the thing that was falling off the car or something? That thing was producing... I would be surprised if that didn't cause the 2020 bushfires, even though it was in Newman. Like, you know, instead of climate change and critical defunding of all firefighter services in the East, no, it was that dude with his old ass 100 series, probably not 100 series, not 100 series, it wasn't 100 series, this cheap looking old ass Land Cruiser, friggin' spawning Satan from hell. Who retroactively caused the 2020 bushfires, I can guarantee you. For the first few months of COVID-19, a lot of institutions and stuff were closed, it's hard borders and lockdowns and stuff in WA. That all stopped pretty soon because, oh, Marky boy. During that brief period in WA, everywhere in Newman got a bit of a paint over, including the Purple Pub. And I don't know if this existed before or after. I only noticed it after um, the Purple Pub did its makeover. But besides the nice purple coat of paint, I noticed on the side of the pub there was this massive mural of the one and only Newman plane. The plane that drove to the pub. I, how can you not love that? Like, how good is the Newman purple pub play. There's, there's a reason it is a profile picture of the Newman Memes page. Because it is a cultural icon of the East Pilbara. Like that, Marble Bar and East Newman, cultural icon, cultural legend, cultural, that thing will be a myth, much like Minotaurs and Cleopatra, just a myth to live on in legend in this land until time itself is torn apart. So, obviously a few years ago we got the Panoara Shopping Centre, right? Thanks to Kevin Michelle. But, what I most love about the Panoara Shopping Centre is not the chicken treat that is the nicest fast food place I've ever seen. Um, it is not sports power where you can now buy shoes, something you couldn't do previously. Nor is it even the Dome Cafe, where I can finally relive what it's like being in Geraldton with... No. IGA is my favourite part about the Panorari Shopping Centre. Because, finally, I can have the cheapest possible foods. Because, see, IGA is a little bit different from Woolworths. When Woolworths gets their little price downs, what they do is they spend all their money on marketing, and none of their expenses come from actually lowering the prices of the food that they're lowering the price of. So they put these beautiful, like very bright yellow stickers on them going, Yo boss, um, we got these things that are out of date. Uh, how should we discount them? Oh, um, already. So I want you to print out a discount uh, price tag 
uh, and make it so bright and fluorescent it reminds you of that one SCP that like really likes to party to the point where he kills his fellow party compatriots. Oh yeah, yeah, right. And um, how much are we going to discount them? Eh, no more than 20%. I reckon that, you know, no more than 20%. You shave a dollar twenty-five, it, it, that's fine. Okay, so I chucked him in the trolley, Dale. Uh, uh, how much should I discount them? You know, they are the vital organs of uh, humanity, like, uh, you've got some kidneys there, some hearts there, and a couple of functioning livers. Um, worth literally hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars on the black market, but um, I reckon you should only discount them, just put them to a dollar. Yeah, that's, that's the price of all the items, the trolley, and uh, I did put some, um, some of that Master Chef uh, beef stock flavour and stuff in the trolley for a dollar, so there's no point going in the effort of putting it at a different price if you're chucking the organs with the Master Chef beef stock. Um, so just chuck them all in the same trolley and uh, just write one dollar. Like, I remember one time, I was in there, and the trolley was filled with nothing but Kinder Eggs. I bought three Kinder Eggs that day. Didn't enjoy them, Kinder Eggs taste like ass, but I did it for the meme. See, this town is a, is a sly little slug, because things, a lot of things do happen in this town, but there's something about the sun, or just the location, some sort of spiritual black hole or something, because Every major and interesting event that happens in this town just kind of melts away in between times of nothing. And you just kind of forget all the things that happen unless you write them down immediately afterwards. This town is like the Australian version of Night Vale. Just this Lovecraftian creation of a town where these weird and unusual events happen and are promptly forgotten about as forbidden knowledge. It's a weird town. But remember this, Newman. Next time you see an interesting or funny event, kind of write it down or at least make a mental note that it happened. Because otherwise you're just going to live in this heat death of a town. Like this universe. It's, this town is a visual representation of the heat death of the universe. If we are not logging and remembering all the unusual and weird things that happen in Newman. Uh, that's my message. That is the moral of this very short video. Ciao.